Hi everyone, Justin here coming to you with Anglican FAQ number 5. Today we're going to be talking about why Anglicans celebrate the Christian year or the church year. Well, what is that? Well, first of all, we need to recognize that virtually every denomination out there within Christianity uh, celebrates a, a slice of the pie of the Christian year, so to speak. Uh, of course, here I'm talking about Christmas Day and Easter Sunday. But Anglicans recognize and use and celebrate uh, the entire span of the Christian year. There's so much more to it. Uh, let me take you through what that looks like really quickly. So we begin in Advent. That's the four weeks before Christmas. Here we're, we're, we're waiting in expectation and longing for Christ's coming, both preparing for his coming to Bethlehem, but more importantly, preparing for his coming again. Uh, to, in glory to judge the living and the dead. We move into the 12 days of Christmas and then into the season of Epiphany. Epiphany is a season that celebrates and asks the question uh, of, of, and looks at how Jesus reveals who God is to us. That's what Epiphany means, manifestation or revealing. From there we move into the 40 days of Lent. Now Lent is a season of godly sorrow, of repentance, of preparation. It's preparing to come into the time of Holy Week and the Easter season. It's preparation uh, for the most sacred and holy events in the history of the world. Uh, the week of Christ's death, his crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. So that takes us into, as I mentioned, Holy Week and then on into the Easter season, which is 50 days long. It's the longest period in the Christian year, of course, because it's the most important. Uh, the Easter season and the Easter, uh, the resurrection uh, give meaning to all our other celebrations, right? We wouldn't be celebrating uh, without it. So there you have it. That's a, an overview, a very, very quick overview of the Christian year. Um, but why do we do it? What does it mean? Well, I want to give you three good reasons why we celebrate this and what it means. The first is this. It answers the question, how will we root our time in this world? Is our time simply going to be uh, rooted in the civic calendar or should our time be rooted in something else? Well, of course, our lives as Christians are rooted in Jesus Christ, his life, his ministry, his death, his resurrection, uh, his birth, uh, his, the promise of his coming, all of that is what our lives are rooted in. And the Christian year helps us in, in the very time of our lives, the very seasons of our lives, to be rooted in Christ. I have a wonderful book here called Ancient Future Time by Robert Weber, and I'll read you just a very quick quote from the book, he says this, The simple unadorned purpose of the Christian year is to proclaim the gospel of God's saving deeds with Christ, especially in his death and resurrection. However, when the Christian year is turned into a mere repetition of the past, we miss the point. The spiritual purpose of celebrating God's saving events is to be formed by Christ, to die with him, to be raised with him, to be born anew, and to live in the hope of his resurrection and return. The Christian year is a wonderful tool for being vitally rooted in our lives, in our worship in the church, in Jesus Christ. We keep him at the center through the Christian year, through celebrating again and again uh, all that God has done for us through him. Secondly, the Christian year gives us an honest spirituality. Now, what do I mean by an honest spirituality? Well, here's what I mean. The Christian year incorporates both times of preparation and celebration, times of mourning, times of repentance, somber times, and times of uh, celebration um, and, and celebrating what God has done for us, like the Easter season, like the Christmas season. But you know what? In this world that we live in, this world that's fallen and sinful, we need both. We need times where we're able to celebrate with joy what God has done, but we also need times where we're able to say, all is not right in the world. All is not right in my life. My family member is suffering. I'm suffering. Uh, or whatever it may be. 
So in that sense, the Christian year gives us an honest spirituality where both are incorporated uh, in the year and not just the times of celebration. The last is this, uh, simply, simply this, we honor tradition through the Christian year. We honor the way that Christians have engaged with and entered into uh, the great acts of God's salvation through Jesus Christ's life and death and resurrection in the Christian year. So we honor how Christians have done, done that and how they've entered into it before us. Our church, the Anglican tradition, is not an ahistorical church, meaning we don't just make it up every Sunday uh, according to you know the most uh, the most contemporary whim. We're rooted in good tradition uh, that helps us to worship and honor God in a way that's pleasing to Him, and ultimately that's of course through Christ. And so the Christian year helps us to do that. Um, it's a God honoring good tradition that we carry with us into the future. So there you have it, three reasons, rooted in Jesus Christ, honest spirituality, and honoring tradition. I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you at one of our gatherings soon. Grace and peace to you. Take care.